there, there's a lot of efforts ongoing to try to uh, understand two things. Number one, we, we hear from many studies that from line one to line two, line two to line three, knowing that we cannot cure myeloma, so all of the patients at some point relapse. And for some of them, it, it ends up taking the patient to death and for many patients to some sort of chronic disease. So we keep hearing that there is a 20% loss of patients, so patients dying in between each line in myeloma from line one to whatever, line three, four, five, six, seven, the number of lines that the patient can get according to countries, according to drug access. And this is very surprising because in the real life, we don't have the feeling in the departments that, for example, line one to line two, 20% of the patient die. That sounds enormous. So that's point number one. So we wanted to look into uh, how much based on a very well done, serious database, we would replicate this or not, number one. Number two, we know that clinical trials are immensely biased. We, we keep saying that observatory, registry, real life database are biased, but the reality is that clinical bias are massively biased. It, it's, it's a major problem, by the way, because a great number of the patients recruited in clinical trials are not a reflection of what the real life in the centers and the departments is. And, uh, and there are many, many, many subsets of patients in the real life that are not part of clinical trials. And this is, this is really a problem. Uh, so, so we need to study all the real life database we have access to. And we need to identify database that would be of great quality and other database of lesser great quality and appreciate from there how much we, we can learn from the, from the survival of the patients and the regimen that works and how much we can replicate what we have found on clinical trials. So there's a, the, the French security system is quite well organized for this and there are a series of databases you can look into uh, that are a projection and a sort of a resume of, uh, for example, SNDS database, what the patient got, have got in terms of drugs and, uh, and from there, how much they have survived. So you, you get access to the drug access and how much patients have access to drugs over time. And in parallel, you have the survival of the patient. So now you can look into it and say, okay, according to drug access, uh, how much we can improve the survival and then starting line one and then line two, line three, etc. Globally, uh, what we found out, if I want to very like high level summarize the, the data, Patient die from myeloma that we knew when we confirm. Um, globally, patient can get four, five, or six line. Most of them in France, uh, according to drug access, which we knew we confirm that we, there's a drop of patient that is is possibly about twenty percent at each line, which confirm what we heard about, and and that's really something we need to look into because it's a lot of patient who die and particularly early on in the disease course, though there's a lot of drugs access, but these patients would die very early on. That's very problematic. So we need to understand this. We need to understand who are these patients and we need to understand how we can improve the treatment and drug access for these patients particularly. And, uh, and globally, we, the way we use the drugs and the way the drug access is made in France makes globally line one, line two, and in certain extent line three, great lines where we really can improve the survival of the patients globally globally, but beyond and starting line three and beyond line three, the drug access is catastrophic. It's very problematic. Uh, if, if you're a center with clinical trials, you can still improve the survival of the patient. But if not, the patients are in, 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 in great trouble. And so this is, it's these, in, these informations are important for the physicians to understand that they should manage the first three lines absolutely perfectly and that for the governments that uh, it's, it's, it still need to help us develop drugs, get drugs access, accessible in France, reimbursed, etc. So, so it, it was very interesting to confirm lots of things we've, we knew, but we, we had to verify uh, in, in, in the very recent times where so many drugs have been developed.